Hey guys, we're back with more F1 Championship Edition. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series so far. We are now on to Suzuka. I think we are into the last couple of rounds here now. So that's good. Let's see what we can do. No, don't give me a penalty for that. You s look, okay. I, I can't. I'm gonna try and restrain myself from s complaining, but it's just so annoying. I'm here, I was just absolutely sweating it. Oh my god, oh my god, is that, the oil's been down the track, oil was on the track and I was not paying attention there, I failed, now we're just going to be at the back of the grid for this whole race, this track I really, it's weird, I don't really enjoy driving Suzuka, I know a lot of people do, but I just really don't, it's a really good race on TV, but I don't know why, it's just, I don't enjoy it, in games, I just can't, I suppose it's because I'm not very good at it, it's probably, as I said in one of my other videos, if you don't enjoy a track, you generally don't go well at it. Wait, what am I trying to say here? I meant, well, not, okay, I don't even know what I'm saying here. Yeah. I'm generally, I don't like driving it, that's what I'm saying. If you don't like driving it, then you're generally not very fast on it. But then I do like actually watching it on TV, so it's a bit confused. Oh well, that's probably another penalty for going across those curbs. Okay, let's just try and catch back up to these guys. There's already a big gap between the main field and the slow teams, so I reckon we can catch up to these guys. Is this oil for the other car, or is this another person that's blowing an engine? Be nice to if it showed. Oh, no, it's actually another person blowing an engine. It's Button. So it's a Honda engine gone and a, a BMW engine gone. So next up, hopefully a Ferrari engine. <laughs> Toro and the Toro size. Another. Wait, is he just spun it or is he just pulled off? Albers is off the train. Mate, I'm pushing every lap. Oh my god, there's another engine retirement here. Cool thought. We're up to 18th just through loads of people retiring. Four people have retired in the first two, one and a half laps. I haven't really been paying attention to the gap to Liuzzi, so let's just see what the gap is. I'm not sure whether it's come down, is what I'm trying to say. 5.5, let's see what it is sort of next time. Got a bit of grass there, actually helped us turn into the corner. Raikkonen didn't score in the last round, and now he's second. Shows you how quickly things can change in F1. Okay, so we gained 7 tenths of a second on the UFC through that last sector. It's pretty pretty off, wasn't it, on the first lap? Not gonna give up though guys, I'll do it for you. But we just need to remember it's that same part of the track, it's the last it's not as you cross the line, but the last sector split before that is where we're gonna be sort of really seeing how much we've gained over a lap. Oh my god. Them. Okay, I think, is there a problem with the car? I'm not going to give up, but wow, okay. Two corners, uh, maybe there's some oil still down, I don't, I don't really know, but the car was not steering in how it was to that before. I don't know. Okay, so it's pretty much meaningless now seeing the gap to him, as we know. Oh my god. 
I look behind me why do I do that Barricado is right up behind me so I just let him pass well there's not really any point don't worry I can't be losing time so they get oh we've got another retirement clean I think Leutzi clean I think it's clean oh there's a bit of there's a bit of oil down there so we lost 10 seconds that lap oh my god What a messy lap this has been. Where's the pit line? Don't give me a drive through for that, please. Decent pit stop, 8.9. And we come out in last place, that's not a surprise. Oh god, hit the grass. Wonder how many of you guys as this race is not really going anywhere, we're going to probably just be last of the runners, but um, any of you guys watching GP2 this year, what do you think of the title fight? But I think it's pretty, been pretty great so far, I mean, so far, the battle between uh, NASA and Palmer has just been great, and also the Tricotto, Van Dorn, they've all been brilliant this year, it's been a great season, great drivers, and uh, yeah, I'm just thoroughly looking forward to each and every race that comes now, because the championship is just looking good, I mean, one weekend it can go bad, the next weekend the other one fights back, it's always great. And Palmer, as I'm recording, this has only won one race. So I think between this going up and me recording it, um, there would have been one round, so forgive me if I'm wrong. And he has won another race, but he's only won one race. I think it was uh, the second race of the year, wasn't it, in Bahrain? He's only won a sprint race this year. But then again, he's been a top six, I think, top seven every single race as I'm recording this. Oh, we're pulling the gap down the lads. Down to 13, just under 13 seconds. It was 15 and a half. Still, possibly, Michael Schumacher has retired by the looks of it. Has he? Has Michael Schumacher retired? Or is he really... Retired around here, I'm thinking. He's in the back. He's in the yeah. He's in. He was in the pits all that time, so I'd assume he's retired. It was a red dot, and we'd assume as Michael Schumacher's in 13th, that was him. Unfortunate race, but still bringing him a 16th. I suppose pretty much all of our other competitors are still running, so doesn't really say, say much. Well, that corner's just been disappointingly annoying I don't even know what to put words what words to put together for it seems like we have one good race one bad race at the moment so let's just hope this next race coming up after this is gonna be good fingers crossed but at least we're gonna finish the race I seem to be a bit inconsistent don't I I seem to be a bit of a John Eric Verne where I have a really good result and then the rest of the season just got like mediocre results. And I think that's why Ricardo was picked over him, just because Vern was amazing on some weekends, but just over a season he was just uh, sort of a bit, you know, just average. Where Ricardo over a season was like very good. No offence to anyone that supports Vern or anything, he's still a great driver, and I still hope he gets into F1 next year, but I still think he's a bit inconsistent. But maybe it's just a torso car and certain track suit and all that sort of stuff. I mean, Monaco has always been great at. Um, I think generally low downforce tracks has been pretty decent at. Could be wrong. Where the intermediate conditions, he's just like one of the best out there, really. And I'm not even just saying that. He is really good in intermediate conditions. It's a bit of a Jensen Button in that aspect. He just needs to dial in that consistency where he's in like the top 10 at every race, which Ricardo was like for a lot of. I think Ricardo scored points in like, I could be wrong, but like 
10 races last year and Vern scored in like 4 or 5 but you know Vern was only a couple of points behind but you know Ricardo still outscored him we've pulled this gap down quite a bit haven't we oh wait no it, I, I was thinking it was 25 it wasn't it was 15 seconds to get oh well we still pulled it down a little bit still showed our speed Raikkonen won it Raikkonen won it it's a 1-2 Montoya was second oh god there was some oil down the track there feel the wheels spinning up was that another retirement then wait yeah 15th now it was a, it was, a, it was a Renault it was a Renault who was it then Alonso I'm assuming I think Honda got third as well Oh well, an interesting race. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So we're just going around the final corner in Japan. Sorry to Braguri, home race and I came last. Right then, Tru that was truly, that was, oh my god, truly. Um, oh, was that Villeneuve's first point as well? Could be wrong, but I think that's Villeneuve's first point. Oh, he's ahead of me in the championship. No! Right, I think it's the last race now, guys. So, uh, yeah, I guess. See you in the last race in Brazil.